teams to one. Welcome back to Newman Outdoor Field. Scott Miller with you. Red Hawk manager Doug Semenik joins us down below. And Doug, a lot of things went well for your team today as the Red Hawks now get another home victory. And Tyler Heron was just terrific today, Doug. It seemed to me after about the third inning, Tyler Heron locked in and he tied the season record now this season for strikeouts in a game held by both Brandon Mann and Tyler Heron. A dozen strikeouts. How about a little glance at Tyler Heron's numbers today, Doug? Well, I mean, he, you know, he struggled early out in the game, and then he started ripping that curveball, and he found a real good slot for it, and he used it pretty good and set up his fastball when he needed it. And, I mean, he's, he's a quality starting pitcher. I mean, here's a guy that, you know, he's been as high as double A, triple A, and then he comes back and he, he's able to pitch like that. I mean, you know, we try to get on him a lot and try to keep him focused and try to keep him in the groove. And, you know, he pitched was savvy. He pitched, I mean, in a day like today where the wind's blowing three runs on five hits, I mean, that's, a, that's impressive. So you know, hats off to him. I mean, he's part of what we're building for, and he's got the, uh, an idea of how to, strike people out and it's big in this league if we got people that can strike a lot of people out on a day built for home runs to right field you held gary without a homer and the red hawks hit two charlie valerio the two-run bomb to right center and then joe dunnigan with that line smash for a solo homer to lead off the fifth how about the way your guys attacked the gary south shore starters today well i mean you know i uh, we weren't even ready for this guy we thought it was going to be rosario but obviously he's saving him for sioux city but our hitters were pretty patient. You know, we got the ball and play a lot on a windy day. They had a few miscues. But, you know, you're talking about um, Valerio and Dunnigan. I mean, you know, just what, what do you think of Dunnigan would have got going in 30 games yeah. doing what he's doing now? He looks comfortable at the plate. He's seeing the ball a lot better. He's not falling over on his swing. I mean, he's hitting the ball pretty solidly the last three weeks. So, I mean – guy's dangerous i mean he's got 12 home runs in a miserable year and but he's still a a very big presence in our lineup and he's got the ability to change the game on one swing charlie on the other hand, you know we're just going trying to mix up the catching and the dh and with those two guys so the thing is for us is you know we get something out of charlie i mean Charlie can do, he's, you know, the sky's the limit with him. He's a pretty good catcher, throws people out, picks people off, and he's kind of dangerous with his bat when he's in the groove. And today he was lining balls all over the field. I mean, he's got power. The ballpark fits him. And, you know, with the two catchers that we have currently going, there's no two better catchers in the league, I don't think. I mean, it's night and day of everybody I've seen. Absolutely. And, Doug, now you have won five consecutive series. You have taken six of your last seven games, 12 of your last 15. So you'll take the train down to Sioux Falls, not literally, but taking on the Canaries starting tomorrow night. Uh, what do you need to do against the Canaries tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday nights? Just continue doing what we're doing. I mean, we've played pretty good upbeat baseball over the last handful of games. And, you know, these guys got a lot of pride. They understand that. Things weren't very good for them in the early going, but tell you what, these guys have played good. There's real good pieces to the puzzle right here, and it's not far off from being a contending team, and we think we could contend in 2016 with some of the people that we could bring back here. Congratulations, Doug, on the win, and best of luck in Sioux Falls starting Thank you. tomorrow. Doug Simonick, the Red Hawks skipper. We'll see if we're, we might have any luck in grabbing one of the Red Hawks players. Not sure. Looks like everybody may have gone back into the clubhouse as the Red Hawks are celebrating another victory today. I see Zach Penpray's downstairs talking with his parents, Rick and Elaine. And